What's up guys? Graham here. Would you like to win one million dollars? Okay, we're not giving away one million dollars, but we are giving away several of the Dream Soul bundles that just came out. And if you have not seen these new souls in action, they are an absolute blast to play. As you can see in my new videos that I have up or coming up that show me with a first impression view of the new souls and running with them in a warfront. You get to see me try to PvP with no macros and an absolute first look at these souls. So it is an absolute train wreck, but it is a blast. And the fun part is in each one of these videos, if you leave your character name and server below the video in the comment section, you will be entered into a chance to win one of these Dream Soul bundles. Now I'm giving one away in each one of the new first impression videos, so make sure that you enter into all four and be sure to be subscribed to the channel. Not into the whole YouTube thing? Well, we made another way so you can enter and all you have to do is go to my Facebook page and click the like button and leave a comment under this post and you will be entered into the drawing as well. So if you want to be entered in as many times as possible, leave a comment in each one of the videos and make sure you are subscribed and go to the Facebook page and click the like button and leave a comment and you will be entered in five times for four of the Dream Soul bundles. And all of these prizes are being provided by the guild Godlike Awesomeness that is holding a 3v3 tournament this Saturday, May the 10th at 6.30 server times. So make sure you are there watching it live on my live stream channel, which is in the description below. If you have not watched my live streams, you are missing out on life, trust me. And if you do subscribe to my channel and take part in this contest, trust me, you will love my channel if you like any kind of PVP content. My channel is exclusively Rift, exclusively PVP. So it's no filler, just killer. So if you're seeing this right now, it is one of the videos that you can leave the comment in below. So make sure that you leave your character name down there with the server and be sure to be subscribed. This is a video for the giveaway. Leave it down there now. What's up guys, Grim here. We're going to try out the new soul for the rogue now, and that is the physician soul, which is supposed to be a single target uh, healing soul. So we're going to try that out. Let's go ahead and look at our existing souls to see which one we're going to overdo. Uh, rolls. Let's go ahead and just pick a new roll here. Seems good. Okay, on the last one, I seen that they had a... Uh, preset for the warrior one and let's see here yeah preset for the physician role as well here and let's see uh, the medic is a strong single target healer but does have but does have the ability to heal a small group of allies capable of draining life from foes to keep themselves alive in addition to their healing abilities the medic is a sturdy adventurer and a boon to any party. Uh, okay, so yeah, I get it. All right, we are going to go ahead and pick this initial soul, and then we're going to look at our abilities and then see exactly how to play, because if we just read off how to play right now, it isn't going to make any sense to us. So uh, I found that out on the Liberator video. I basically was reading it and had no clue what it was even talking about so let's go ahead and pick this whoa is the preset not working uh oh it didn't work preset select there we go there we go all right so we're in business now. So it went 61 in the physician, 5 in the night blade for increases, attack power, and weapon damage. I'm a healer. Why would it put in that? Okay, increase the endurance. That makes sense. More damage addition there. Okay, so that's what we're going to be rolling with. Uh, yes. 
Uh, go ahead and throw the abilities onto the bar down there. Um, to start off with, we're just going to look at our buffs. That way that we can see exactly what we need to have up. Okay, builder, finishers, damage, healing, buffs. Life insurance uh, can only be used on one ally at a time. Buffs a single ally with absorption shield. Okay, so hmm, that's not a normal buff. Uh, when hit, the rogue gains an absorption shield that absorbs 50% of damage up to... Okay, that's a normal buff. And, uh... Okay. Uh, buffs a raid, giving, causing 30% of overhealing received from the physician's single target abilities to be transferred into an absorption shield. That is freaking awesome right there. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, buffs a single, okay, this is another one, when you, uh, whenever you cast a single target physician sp heal, the target gains a 50% absorption shield, lasts for one hour. Hmm, okay, I guess we're going to use that on ourselves, or we're going to use this one on ourselves, um, uh, it only lasts for 10 seconds. We're really not looking for the the things that we, you would use uh, like in emergency situations and stuff like that. Because a lot of it will be macroed and we, we're just not putting in the time to macro anything just yet on a first impression of this, this build. So, alright, let's look at the other uh no buffs with that one so rift stalker give me some buffs guardian phase and plane bound resilience uh this basically makes me where i'm a little more tankier and this one gives me some endurance so that'll be some nice buffs to have let's make sure nothing overlaps i don't believe anything said it would only be available with one or something like that oh it's raining outside Hope it doesn't mess up with the recording. Alright, so we've got our buffs going. Now we need to go ahead and read the preset uh, instructions for this build. Because I'm really not going to have any clue on what I'm supposed to do. Okay, the medic here. Uh, how we... Okay. Uh, buff the tank with supportive care and put simultaneous treatment on yourself okay let's let's try to follow along here that's maintenance therapy okay mass blood transfusion oh this this is kind of cool man it's like straight up doctor here i wonder how long it'll take somebody to run around with a physician named house so okay Supportive care isn't even one of the uh, abilities they put on my bar here. Intensive care. Yeah. Urgent care. Active care. Okay. It didn't even... Okay. So, casual treatment. It does a big heal and awards two combo points. Maintenance therapy restores additional health. Okay. Okay. So it's a finisher. Uh, would it be... So you would cast a finisher on this uh, one of your allies with this. Okay. Interesting stuff. Okay. This one deals damage and heals the rogue. For okay. It's like a vampiric thing. Surgical strike. Got gotcha. you. Um, this is a big heal. Six second. Okay, man, we're going to have to get that stuff macroed. Uh, like I said, we're not macroing anything for this test run here. We're just basically going to throw some abilities onto the bars and hit a war front and see how we do. It's most likely going to be an absolute freaking catastrophe, but we're going to roll with it. So, okay. All right. So we need to use intensive care to boost your healing abilities. Uh, that's urgent care. Intensive care right there. 
Um, okay, yeah, that's a two minute cooldown. I'm not going to be able to do that right off the bat. So, uh, to charge your single target spells into small party spells. Oh, okay, you change your single target into AoE abilities. Okay. Um, biofeedback is a great ability to use when the tank needs healing while the physician needs to be mobile. Alright, does any. Yeah, that has cast time. Not cool, not cool. Okay, so we're going to have a damaging ability there. Uh, we're going to take that off. That's, n that's a, another uh, self-healing uh, finisher. Hmm. Okay, we're going to do it like this. Uh, restores. Okay, this, uh, alright, this is the instant version, and this is the cast timer one, which is, whoa, like three times the healing, and that one, okay. Okay, makes it a little bit rougher. Um, okay, we're going to put an instant there, we're going to do the cast timer one, uh, wait a minute. All right, I guess it's not gonna let me drag down that ability there, so let's look at it through here. Uh, we need to get casual treatment and put it right there. And then our maintenance therapy will be our big heal. Well, yeah, it'll be a big heal uh, as a finisher. Man, that kind of sucks. Okay, uh, matter of fact, we're gonna do it like this. Okay, hopefully we don't get all messed up with this. Um, what's this? Deals that much damage, heals the rogue for this much health for each enemy hit. Interesting. Taking that off the bar. Okay, absorbs damage per combo point. Taking that off the bar. Uh, taking that off the bar. Brings back, oh, combat res. Gotta put that on. Or, okay, shadow step. All right, that's going to be our getaway. Um, we don't need that buff. We've already got that buff. We've already got that one. All right, let's see our. Let's see if we got any kind of CC or anything like that. Instantly recovers 50 energy. That's pretty nice. We got a cleanse there. We got another cleanse. Nice stuff. We're not going to be cleansing anybody. Uh, so, which will make us much, much worse of a healer, but we're not focusing on that stuff just yet. We're going to try to just get in here and do some raw healing and, uh, hopefully some raw damage. We'll see how it goes though. All right. Uh, let's roll with this. We're just going to do it this way. All right. Let's do it. Let's queue up, oops, queue up for this Warfront. Hopefully we do good. So I got one damage ability, a finisher, uh, an instant, and then a fin the, yeah that awards combo points, and then we got a big heal right there that's a cast time. All right, trying to implant it in my head how this is gonna work. So uh, if you watch the Liberator video, you know that I completely was messing up on my buttons. So trying not to do it as bad in this one. And we are live, says. We are live. Boy, oh boy. Hopefully we don't get owned up. Well, it looks like I'm the only healer so far. and <laughs> This is not going to be good if I'm the only healer because I'm not used to playing the spec. And I don't have any macros or anything, so... Yeah, everything could go very, very badly. And I hope they are not just relying on me to solo heal these guys. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Alright, let's throw up some buffs, I guess. I don't know if it'll affect anybody else except for myself, but we're going to throw them up anyway. Oh, he said hello. 
let's say hello back. Hello. Nice to meet you guys. Don't let me die. Oh, we just got two more healers. Sweet. Oh, somebody licked me. <sighs> Man. This is going to be so bad. So bad. But we're going to roll with the punches. We've only got one way to get away here. And it teleports us. That's the only thing. We don't have any CC or anything that I've seen. Uh, ooh, let's attack this guy. Oh, I'm hitting him with a bow. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surgical strike is a ranged attack, I guess. It, it is a bow? Yeah, use a ranged weapon. Wow, okay. As you can tell, I'm trying to get used to this. And we don't have a cleanse, so I can't... Alright, let's... let's. Oh, I gotta click on everybody. I forgot I don't have any macros, so I don't have my uh, mouse over macro. Alright, let's throw a big heal onto this guy. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, finisher. Uh, oh man, we're messing this up. Oh, I was hitting my fin... No, okay, I was hitting the right button. Alright. Alright. Stay as I have you, finisher. I'm spamming heals, man. You will live. Man, it's pretty cool having a healing finisher. That is pretty boss, man. Whoa. Uh, uh, oh my gosh, this is... This is intense, man. Man, this is so freaking cool having a, a builder heal and then a finisher heal. Uh oh. Gosh, this is so cool, man. I, I am really liking this. I mean, granted, I'm just hitting like two buttons right now, but still, I mean, the whole... Uh, whole way that it works and everything it's pretty cool man uh, I, I probably need to go grab a uh, one of the runes because our team is losing pretty bad alright where's some runes at I want to heal you guys, but I want to heal you guys, but we gotta win. Hello, you. Let's see how much damage we do to these guys. 124. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh! I don't have my break free. I don't have my break free. No juke. Oh, I couldn't juke him in time. I was snared. Uh, that was bad. I gotta put my break free on the bars, man. What's up with this? Oh. Uh, where is it? Planar ability, ascended abilities. Uh, that's where it is. Break free. Uh, wrong button. Okay, right there. Uh, let's get buffed up. Okay, there's a rune down here. Looks like one of our guys already has it. Let's go ahead and heal him up. I got you covered, man. I'm here to back you up, bro. It's like a rad bromance. Uh, let's res this dude. Oh, he's not around. Not in my line of sight, anyway. Oh, where are you at? Well, you're dead now. So, okay. Let's go get a rune. Oh, uh, one of our guys already has it. So, where's another rune? Because we are losing. I've got to try to help. I've got to bring 
bring our guys back to succession. Uh, let's go down here and hit this guy for a couple of hundred damage. Man, the thing is, is with both of these healing specs, man, the damage is so terrible, man. So terrible. Even with the uh, Liberator spec, whenever I was running that on my Warrior earlier, man, I was I was hitting for next to nothing under these guys. So we definitely oh, there's a rune up there. Don't mind me, just passing through, man. Just passing through. Uh oh. I'm at their spawn. Uh oh, juke time. Juke. Juke. Dang it. Juke. Uh, finisher. Finisher. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Finisher. Finisher. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at them. They're, they're just sticking on me, man. Let's heal this guy up. Okay. You up there. You with the face. Died to my 97 damage. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, this is terrible, man. Oh, we're losing. We're going to lose. You're a bunch of losers. I am too, though. Grim, did you get your soul bundle? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Oh, we're about to lose. So not cool. So not cool. Kind of bummed out about it. And I healed my butt off. I probably led the heals. <laughs> probably not. Uh, yeah, these guys just picked up the vials um, at the rune so much better than we did. Uh, I was trying to find them, but it didn't work out. Okay, let, let's see. Healing done. Uh, not too bad, especially since I was only spamming one button and no uh, heal over times or anything like that. I think this one is pretty freaking cool. I had a lot of fun healing on this one. So... Uh, yeah, the physician, definitely try it out. You guys will probably like it. And I'm sure there's ways to min-max this to where you just do so much more healing than what I did. You know, especially since I don't have any macros. I'm probably using the wrong abilities because this is just my first attempt at it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And this is Grim playing the physician for the first time. Which, I might be playing it a lot more. You never, you never know. So, uh, select announcer. What's this? Random? What? Don't know what that is. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, as usual, my name is Grim. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Give it a like because it always helps. And, if you have not watched the Liberator video yet, be sure to go back and watch that. And, there will be the next two souls being tested out by myself coming up just shortly. So, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.